Hey guys, the DFW Rail fan here. I'm just gonna make this quick tutorial video on how to give two locomotives, such as a Dash 9, two Dash 9s, two different horns for Railworks. So we're gonna go to our File Explorer. Okay, there we go. We're in files 86. Oh, you gotta make that one. Huh, I can do that different. Go to Steam. Steam Apps. Common. Railworks. Assets. RSC. I'm going to do the ES44 pack. So, audio. Real vehicles. Diesel ES44. Go to cab. And I've already done it for two locomotives. But what you're going to do is take the class ES44 horn proxy bin and XML files. And rename it to a number that you haven't already done. But it's gotta be the one after the one you previously did. For me, it's gonna say two for each. It's gonna be two on each one. When you've done all that, drag your class ES44 horn sound into your servers. It's gonna be your bin file, it's gonna create the XML. checking that but now what you're gonna do let's go to downloads audacity and I got a couple horns in here that I really like we're gonna go in here let's play this one real quick now this is a horn I actually created this isn't a horn that I got myself but it's one I created I didn't get the video myself but the horn I got myself off of the video that a friend of mine got And it sounds just like this. And I love the way it sounded. So I'm going to use it. So we're going to copy this. Back, 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 back. It's just, that's just a shortcut. Control V and paste. And we're going to rename this file to horn underscore ns8098 underscore and loop and start but you can rename it to anything you want as long as the name matches for the end loop and start files they have to match otherwise it will not work method won't work without that. Once you renamed your files, you're going to go to class ES44 horn proxy XML, the one you just created, and you're going to rename your horn files. So, your sound so horn underscore NS8098. Make sure it's all set to WAV format before you do anything. If it's not set to WAV, this will not work. Once you've renamed your file, save it. Close out, drag it into SERS. Go to Rail Vehicles, Diesel, ES44 AC. We're going to click on Default, because that's the Conrail. Engine. We're going to do here, see the ES44AC underscore Conrail, bin file, we're going to drag that into servers to create an XML. Yeah, as a 
shortcut, go edit, find horn sound, and make sure you did it for whatever you just created, so it's going to be two for me, yeah, for me it's going to be two, save that, close out, drag it into servers. And there's one other thing that I originally forgot to do when I first started doing this. So we gotta go back to audio, real vehicles, diesel, ES44, go back to cab. And this is the step that I kept forgetting to do. And I figured it out recently. Go to the bin file you just created, drag that back into servers. And now, it's not very far up, so, not very far down, so, you can just scroll down, really. And it's not a very long thread, so, but anyway, we're going to type in 2, save the XML file, close it out, drag it into servers on your desktop. And that's that. Now, I'm not going to test it in-game because I know this is going to work because I've done this before and I've learned from experience, so I know it's going to work. But, I did not explain where you can find servers on your desktop. You're going to go to your main Railworks folder, scroll down until you find an application called servers, click on it, and you're going to create a shortcut. You're going to click on create shortcut and then drag that onto your desktop. But anyways, that wraps up this tutorial. Now I'll see you guys in your next video.